Hello, my name is Nina Marroquin. I work with the Office of Student of, Student of Success as an avid chemistry tutor. And today we will be discussing how to solve a few stoichiometry problems. The question is, how many grams of sodium hydroxide can be, can be produced from 500 grams of calcium hydroxide in the following equation? Step one is always to understand what the question is asking. It wants to know how many grams of sodium hydroxide and what the um, and what the problem gives you. So you're given 500 grams of calcium hydroxide and you're also given this equation. So after we figure out what is needed to um, solve this problem, we need to write down our conversion factors. So we know that one mole of CaOH2 equals 74.092 grams of CaOH2. So how did I come up with this uh, mass number? All you really need to do is for every element that we see here in the compound, we need to figure out the atomic mass of each one and just add it up together. So we know Ca has a mass number of, it's going to be 40.078. And don't forget your little subscripts here. This tells you you have two oxygens. So oxygen equals 15.999 times 2, because we have two of them. And the same thing goes with hydrogen. Hydrogen equals 1.008. But remember, we have two of them. And you just add up all these guys, which that gives you the 74.09. Two grams. We also know that one mole of NaOH equals thirty-nine point nine nine seven grams of NaOH. And once again, the, how I came up with this number, I followed the same process. So we know sodium has an atomic mass of 22.9, that's supposed to be a 9, grams. Oxygen is 15.999, and hydrogen is 1.008. And when you add it all together, you get the 39.997 grams. And our last conversion tape or conversion. We're going to have to go back up to our balance equation. So for every one of these guys, I'm able to produce two of the sodium hydroxides. So we can also word that as one mole of calcium hydroxide 
equals 2 moles of sodium hydroxide. And these are all the conversion factors we need. So now we're able to move on to step three. So step three, we need to set up the conversion. You don't really need to do or this part, but I find it helpful if you draw a little road map. Grams of calcium hydroxide. From here, we need to go to moles of calcium hydroxide. Then from here, we're able to convert to moles of sodium hydroxide. Then last but not least, we're able to get to grams of sodium hydroxide. As I said before, you don't need to draw out this little roadmap, but it does help you have an idea which conversion factors go where. So we're going to start off with the first one. This guy was back in the problem. We're given 500 grams of the calcium hydroxide. So you would write 500 grams of C A O H 2. Now to get rid of this guy, I'm always want to put a diagonal to it. So referring back to my roadmap, I need to go from grams of calcium hydroxide to moles of calcium hydroxide. And we said that one mole of calcium hydroxide equals the four or the seventy four point zero nine two grams of calcium hydroxide. So the 74.092 grams of calcium hydroxide goes in the denominator and our one mole of calcium hydroxide goes up here. Then after we do this step, going back to our map, we need to go from moles of calcium hydroxide to moles of sodium hydroxide. So we know one mole of calcium hydroxide is equal to two moles of sodium hydroxide. So let's scoot this over a bit. Now once we are at this point, we're only left with one thing. Now I need to go from moles of sodium hydroxide to grams of sodium hydroxide, which we know is that one mole of sodium hydroxide equals 39.997 grams of sodium hydroxide. So then we go back down. So one mole of sodium hydroxide in the denominator, and then we're going to put the 39.997 grams of sodium hydroxide in the numerator. Okay, so everything looks good. 
our grams of calcium hydroxide cancels out with our calcium hydroxide. Moles of calcium hydroxide cancels out with moles of calcium hydroxide. Moles of sodium hydroxide cancel out with moles of sodium hydro hydroxide. And all we're really left now is with grams of sodium hydroxide, like the question was asking. So all you really need to do is multiply across. So we have 500 times 2 times 39.997. Divided by the 74.092, which this equals 39997 over 74.092, which this gives you 539. 8288614. But remember your rules of significant numbers. Here I'm given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 5 SDs up here and I have 5 SDs down here. So my ending result should have it should have 5 significant digits. So I want to say 5, 3, 9, point 0.8, this is my dividing line. This number is larger than 5, so I add one here. 3 grams of NaOH. And there we go, guys. We were able to figure out how many grams of sodium hydroxide we can get from the equation. Step one was to figure out what your question is. And list the information that they do give you. Set up your conversion factors. Make your little road map. Set up the conversions correctly. Multiply across. Divide and round to the correct number of significant digits. And that is it. Once again, my name is Nina Marroquin. I work with the Office of Student of Success as the avid chemistry tutor.